with Diwali, the long festival season is over for most parts of the country. But as others return to their busy lives and relatives go back to their homes, some are feeling the blues. After a period of celebrations and merrymaking, it seems these people are unable to return to their normal lives. Psychiatrists say these people may be suffering from post-festival withdrawal syndrome. You know, it's almost as if you're, the chemicals that were raging in your brain, if this is a normal baseline level, it had come up to this. When the festival starts drawing to a close, the level of chemicals starts to go down and the day the festival gets over, in a lot of people, you find that the chemicals have gone below the baseline. You know, there is a sudden steep fall. And this is classically what uh, the post-festival withdrawal syndrome is all about. You know, a sudden decrease in your mood, a decrease in your energy levels, a decrease in your activity levels, the realization that, you know, life is now going back to being the same dull, dreary, monotonous life that I had been leading earlier. Post Diwali is actually not a happy time for everyone and no one knows this better than psychiatrists in the cities who have been helping out people suffering from this syndrome. Many across the metropolitan cities in India feel depressed at this time of the year. It is basically the monotony that comes after a whole Diwali week of fun, enjoyment, games and partying out with your friends. This expression which we call a hedonic treadmill. Hedonism is basically a pleasure-filled existence. So there is something which gives me a lot of pleasure. But it's like being on a treadmill. You know, you are on a treadmill, it gets you to a certain point, but you cannot uh, experience endless pleasure, endless joy, because the treadmill eventually is going to start moving in the opposite direction. So all the festivities, all the binging that you've done, all the good food that you ate, all the good alcohol that you drank and so on, it, it gave you a lot of joy, a lot of feeling of well-being, of contentment. But if you continue doing it, that effect, that joy, that pleasure starts to plateau out. Now here is what you can do to ease post-festival withdrawal syndrome. Stay connected to supportive people. Move vigorously during the day. Do things that make you feel good. Challenge negative thinking. Spend time outdoors in the sunlight. You owe it to yourself just to... Uh ensure sustainability for a much longer period of period of time over the next few years that you need to accept that you know going back to a simple basic diet a balanced diet stopping the excessive consumption of whatever chemicals that you have started consuming getting back to an exercise routine these are the keys to a good balanced healthy lifestyle it is understandable that life can be harsh and can be really boring but at the same time Post-festival withdrawal syndrome is nothing but an extended form of what we call as Monday blues. It will go away gradually.